Fool This is Bahamas Drill Journalist, where we explain the lives of some of the most dangerous criminals, kingpins and most wanted people of the Bahamas. Fool is one of the most feared savages in Narek. This gangster escaped death twice, only to get snitched on ambushed by the local Bahamian authorities. Let's take a closer look at the story of Fool the Nassau Grim Reaper also known as Jamal. Penn was a gangster from the Bahamas who was associated with D-Block and the Mad Ass. Fool actually started out as a M.O.B. because he grew up in a neighborhood controlled by the gang. Fool started hanging out with guys like Rafi and Michael Myers back in 2005. He would be introduced to Rafi, though a mutual friend named Eyes and the two would become tight. At one point when Fool was homeless, Rafi's mom would take him in and let him sleep on the floor. Together, Fool and Rafi would put in work in the streets and started building a reputation in the city as feared shooters. Fool would allegedly catch his first body in 2008 with the murder of a dude named D'Angelo from a gang called DPG. According to rumors, in 2008, Foolish, along with Peanut tried to rob D'Angelo, but he wouldn't give up too easily. He tried to get away and run towards a moving car but was shot before he could make it. D'Angelo was later found dead on the scene by police. It's not clear who fired the kill shot, but they were both credited with the hit. Fool was arrested and charged with the murder but a judge ordered a retrial in the case in 2009 after jurors could not reach a decision in the trial. While on bail for that case, Smith was charged with the February 18, 2010 shooting death of Randall Thompson at Augusta Street. Prosecutors also dropped that case. Fool was close with Punch, who was a top henchman and his uncle. Punch the assassin from Nassau and Freeport Foolish and Punch were the ones who allegedly took out several top street shooters from several territories. One time Fool would be shot nine times in his legs and the back of his neck. Foolish would make a recovery and go right back to his old ways, which resulted in him getting shot again. This time he was hit with three bullets in the leg and bladder, bringing the total number to 12. Foolish reputation for getting hit but bouncing back every time even earned him the nickname Fool with the tool. Fool the leader of the border. Boys in Freeport was a menace to society. In 2010, Foolish would start getting close with the dudes from the mad ass gang, including Myers, Eyes, P Mac, Guns, D Boy, and Crime. One Order and Mad Ass were beefing at the time and it seemed like Fool wanted to start claiming Mad Ass to avoid the drama. When Punch from Freeport would be murked by members of One Order, Foolish would really turn up in the streets and go full double OK meaning One Order killers. Around this time, Foolish also started to beef with Fox and die calling them snakes and lames. Some members of Border Boys and Mattis would have conflicts with One Order members, which led to a few fights in prison and shootouts in the streets. A Supreme Court judge yesterday granted bail to an alleged gang leader accused of murder. His bail was set at $8,000 with two sureties for Tony Smith, also known as Jamal Penn, who is known better by his street alias Fool or Foolish, who is also awaiting trial for the March 2, 2012 murder of Eugene Stewart. Prosecutors allege that Smith is the leader of the Border Boys gang, a claim he denied during another murder trial earlier that year. Jurors took less than an hour to clear Smith of the February 8, 2012 shooting death of his cousin, Tristan Bartlett. In the pending case, prosecutors claim that Fool and Leroy killed Stewart and conspired with Leslie Bowe to commit the murder. Fool, Leslie, and Leroy ended up getting into a shootout with a dude named Eugene after a drug deal went wrong. They went to go buy some weed from Eugene but they all got into an argument. Fool, Leslie, and Leroy went back to Leslie's girlfriend's house to get some guns and went back to confront Eugene. That's when the shootout went down and both Leslie and Eugene ended up getting hit. Eugene would later die in the hospital, while Leslie survived but was left with a huge scar. In the late year of 2012, prosecutors dropped two murder cases against Smith. Let's fast forward in 2019. Fool who is described as a huge guy standing at 5 feet 7 inches and weighing about 188 pounds with medium brown complexion and is slim built. Tony Smith aka Jamal Penn aka Fool was wanted by the Central Detective Unit for possession of an illegal firearm, murder, and was considered armed and extremely dangerous. His last known address is 50, Kelly Lane, off Johnson Road, New Providence and Tari. Town, Grand Bahama. And he was last seen January 17, 2019. On May 17, 
2019 police got a tipped off by neighbors of the Blair community that there were three wanted men seen at a home in the area. Our sources can tell you that three men were shot dead by police this morning in Blair Estates. At the residence home where a family were still asleep where a gun battle with police unfolded in the morning on the corner of Commonwealth and Newgate Road. Police this morning in a major gun battle in Blair shot and killed three suspects believed to be behind several serious incidents. One of the suspects killed is, Jamal Penn, alias Tony Smith age 28, years of Hearn Lane Freeport, Grand Bahama. He regularly frequents Bimini and New Providence, and was a gang leader wanted for murder after being acquitted for over eight murders. The gun battle began after police served a search warrant on a home on at Commonwealth and Newgate Road, which is the eastern road access to Blair. It is alleged by police the three dead suspects used children as human shields during the early morning gun battle. The home is believed to have been a safe house for criminal activity. Shortly after the murder of Fool and two of his henchmen it is rumored THA his wife started to have a relationship with his enemy. Now let's fast forward to the year 2020. Monday May 11, 2020 Fool wife would to be murdered. A Limewood Lane community resident on Grand Bahama Island was recorded the country's 26th homicide. The incident on an early afternoon unfolded as powerful gunshots filled the quiet neighborhood. Police have information regarding the suspects believed to be involved in the fatal shooting on Monday, they are following leads. Detectives reported the couple was gunned down outside a blue Ford Focus. About a year ago in May 2019 the murdered woman's husband. Jamal Penn was shot and killed along with two other men by police in an early morning raid on a home in Blair in eastern New Providence. Folk's wife. Kim was arrested during the raid and charged with possession of dangerous drugs and several firearms and ammunition found in the home at the time. After getting inside police discovered 22 pounds of marijuana and two additional firearms after a further search of the pro-